Alright, so I just wanted to make a quick video on how to set up your workspace in Adobe Illustrator in order to draft a sewing pattern. Now, I'm not going to actually make a sewing pattern in this video in Illustrator. However, um, I am going to do that probably in the next couple weeks or so. Uh, and I just kind of wanted to divide up you know, videos just so that, you know, you're not watching one long 36 minute video or something like that. So anyways, um, how to set up your workspace. You want to go to Illustrator, Preferences, and uh, just open up General for now. Now you want to go down to Units, and uh, I put everything here as inches, because we're going to be drafting patterns in inches. Um, then we go Guides and Grids, or Guides and Grid, sorry and grid line every one inch, subdivisions every eight. And then you hit OK. And the next thing you do is you open up new. And uh, you're going to open up a new artboard. So um, ideally you want to put everything on one artboard. You might want to do two. I don't know why. But anyways, one artboard is, is good enough. Size, I select custom. So I just typed in 60 inches by 36. That's just random. Um, you when you're setting up your artboard you want to think of it as like a piece of paper so think about like how much paper you would need for your pattern so that's that's how I think of it units inches and then uh, you hit OK and this is your artboard now um, you're going to want to show the rulers so show rulers there and then you're going to also want to perhaps sometimes show show grid so you just click it on like that so if you want to turn the grid off you just go hide grid under view and if you want to turn the rulers off of course you know hide rulers but generally you want your rulers on and you want your grid to show for the most part so anyways, I hope you found this useful. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comments box below. And also, um, again, I'm planning on doing um, a series on how to draft patterns in Adobe Illustrator. So stay tuned for the next one.